This is my sketchbook. I've always wanted to be able to draw, so I'm going to practice every single day for the next year to see how much I can improve. I think it's time I do my first drawing. So as you can see, it's not that good. I think my task just for this first week is going to just be drawing shapes. So, um, I'm not even a week into doing this and something bad has already happened. My uh, dog uh, died yesterday. I want to be able to draw Charlie. That's what I want to do. And with that, the first week is finished. Well, actually, it's been a little bit longer than a week, but it's been a pretty crappy week to say the least. Regardless though, I feel quite confident now actually putting pencil on paper and doing different lines and shapes. So I think it's time to move on to something a bit more fundamental to any drawing, and that is construction. Construction is something that I need to nail before I even worry about doing anything even more detailed like attempting to draw Charlie. Construction is the building blocks, basically, the shapes and lines that build up any 3D object that you're trying to represent on a 2D piece of paper. And I think the best way for me to learn this is to actually look at animals and break them down into their fundamental shapes. That's going to be my goal. And the interesting thing is that I go away tomorrow to Coventry to see some university friends. So I'm going to bring my sketchbook with me and try to draw whilst I'm away. So let's uh, see how it goes. Just that's quite wobbly on a train. <laughs> okay, so I've kept it up whilst I'm here in Coventry and this is what I've done. A really bad looking pony. <laughs> So, it has been about a month since my last piece to camera like this. Uh, I initially only wanted to do sort of the fundamentals of animals for about a week, but I ended up doing it for about a month. <laughs> and the reason for that is I have been incredibly busy. I've had my uh, customer services job. It's a late day at work. Look at this. It's about quarter to seven. There's my bird. I'm honestly quite proud of it. My contract ended last week. Um, but throughout all of October, I've been doing long 13 hour shifts. The other thing is I've been working on a couple TV jobs as well, a couple shoots, uh, went why I'm currently sat in a field at 7 a.m. now. I'm waiting to uh, go on to do a photography shoot. Um, and then the, the other big thing that has uh, changed is we bought, uh, we bought Cooper home, who is our new puppy. He's a cockapoo and he is an incredibly lovable dog. <laughs> Um, and surprisingly well-behaved for a puppy. Hey. For now though, I'm gonna go uh, do this uh, shoot that I'm on and then when I'm back home, I'll probably show you the progress that I've made and introduce sort of what my next uh, steps are gonna be in this. So here I am back home. This is, this is Cooper. Um, he's scared of the camera though, so he'll probably run off in a second like so. So, as I said, I'll show the progress that I've made with all of the fundamental animal shapes. I started off very sort of light and sketchy, just drawing sort of the shapes, making them uh, 3D if I needed to. So you see the first one I ever did, I did like the big circle for the hippo's head and the lines to make it 3D and the body there. And then slowly over time, I started to get a bit better at it. So. The last one I did in that style was a penguin, and then I moved on to the koala you can see here. Um, and with that, I started doing thicker outlines. And this worked out quite well, actually, because I can still see the construction lines underneath and the rough shapes for the animals that I did, but I can also see the finished product a bit more on top. Uh, so you can see I've got a pig just there, and, uh, and an elephant. And then got a, a lion and a puffin. The dolphin is probably my favourite one that I did. Um, and then finally, we've got a chick and an owl. 
a rhino, and a mouse. So I think I'm going to stop with the animals there, um, and I will in a moment, once I'm in uh, a new location, which I'll talk about in a minute, well, a minute for you, a few days for me, I'll show you uh, what next steps I'm going to be taking after moving on from these animals. Okay, so here I am in a new location, and the reason for that is because I'm actually away from home at the moment for my graduation. For three years, I studied film, television, and radio. And for a while, it was great. And then the pandemic struck. And I couldn't finish many things in the way that I wanted. Finally, now it's November um, and COVID is sort of died down a little bit, I'm getting the chance to actually have my proper graduation, hence why I am in a hotel room at the moment. Um, but I thought I'd take this chance whilst I'm here to show you what my next steps are after having drawn animals for a month, and that is with this little guy. So this is one of those um, art shop wooden mannequin things where you can like move all its limbs around and pose it in different ways. And I'm basically going to use this thing to uh, start the process of learning how to draw people. So uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing next. Thomas James Woolley. Woo! Three, two, one. So I have just got back from my uh, graduation ceremony. I had a pretty good time. It was quite good. Uh, I had to walk across the stage after my name was called out and uh, doff my cap to the vice chancellor. Uh, I met up with a bunch of old friends as well from university, so that was good. And it's nice to finally have uh, my graduation after it was delayed from this summer because of, uh, of COVID. But something I did manage to get today was my certificate. Just kidding. This doesn't have my certificate in. It is completely empty and that's because my certificate was posted out to me months ago. Um, but something I was able to get today was a professional uh, photo taken of me in my cap and gown. And I think a good goal to work towards with my uh, drawing would be eventually to do a uh, self-portrait of myself based off of that photo. I think that would be quite interesting, especially with all the uh, angles on the cap and the unusual gown and whatnot. So yeah, that's another one of my very long-term goals, I think. Okay, so I'm here still drawing figures. I've been drawing the mannequin for a few weeks. And if you look at these more recent drawings compared to the first figure in my sketchbook or the really rough one that I did digitally before I started this challenge, you can uh, really start to see some improvement which I'm quite happy with. And what I'm trying to do now is to do it more from memory so I'm not having to rely on the mannequin as a reference as much. As you can see behind me, it is nearly Christmas and I've actually realized something. I've been doing this for nearly three months, I've been drawing consistently since um, the 30th of September, and whilst I've made progress and I've documented that progress, I've not really properly introduced myself to you, the viewer of this film. I've taken you through parts of my life, but you don't really know me. So, um, hi, <laughs> my name's Tom, 
and my goal in life is to tell stories. As you can see, I've graduated from university and I've uh, now got a degree in film, television and radio and I'm looking to enter the professional world and I figured that whilst I'm trying to do that, I'd um, continue to be creative. I've always wanted to draw and I thought that giving me the goal of filming my progress and seeing how much progress I make over a year will not only force me to be motivated to keep practicing, but also will hopefully tell a good story. So now that you know some of my backstory, Adam, I'd, um, I'd like to introduce you to somebody. This is my nanny Linda. She's currently in a care home, and she's never coming out. I want to tell her story, but in order to do that, and to finish what I started, I need to be able to draw.